First into the tank is mum of two, Amy Mills from Canberra, with her baby-focused brand. Four out of the five sharks are parents themselves, so I'm hoping that the odds are on my side and they love my product. Davey, have you ever changed a nappy? No. <laughs> Did you change any nappies? Or just... All the time. I was right in there, absolutely. You gotta be. Yeah. Hi Sharks, my name is Amy and I'm the owner and founder of Canberra's very own reusable modern cloth nappy brand, Mimi & Co. I'm here today seeking $100,000 for a 10% equity in my business. This is what 6,000 disposable nappies look like in landfill. And this is the waste accumulated by just one baby in disposable nappies. Wow. In 2020, I gave birth to my first son. He was born at a teeny tiny two and a half kilos. Oh. He was the size of a premature baby, but needed the absorbency of a newborn nappy. The advice that I was given, just use two disposable nappies at once. I knew there had to be a better way. So I got behind my sewing machine and I developed our first ever prototype. Our nappies are design protected, loved by thousands, and are the only modern cloth nappy on the market that truly stands up to its claim of one size fits most. Sharks, if you have any questions or you would love to touch our products, I would love to show you. Thank you. Can we see the product? Absolutely. And Amy, does your brand name have any meaning? I'm Mimi. No one knows me as Amy in my, in my life. My name. name is Mimi. <laughs> Robert, I'm going to show you what our nappy looks like on Thank you. a two and a half kilo baby. It's roughly the size that my baby was Thank when you. he was born. Aww. Amy, hi. So I also gave birth to my son in 2020. Yes. And um, I also have now a six month old. Yep. I gave the um, cloth nappies a go and I just, I think I must have done it wrong because it just leaked pee everywhere. Yeah, look, and this yeah. is the hardest thing about cloth nappies, right? A I lot of them. huge brands, the ones that you can buy really easily, they're the ones that don't offer education. So it's really difficult to try and know where you're going wrong. Hey, Amy. Hello. I've got three kids. I know all about this. So does this leak? I studied a Bachelor of Forensics. Forensics? Yeah, where I majored in textiles. A lot of what we do here is about the absorption. We have specifically chosen bamboo cotton and hemp cotton because they draw moisture away from baby. They hold onto that wheat. This is what the inside of our nappy looks like. This here is called a Punami protector. <laughs> <laughs> Great name. <laughs> yes. I'm sure any of you with kids have experienced Punamis before. <laughs> and what this does is the poo will go up and sit into the back. It's not going to come out and up into your clothes. Oh, horrible nightmares coming back right now. And we have a Punami protector at the front. What is going on? <laughs> He's oh, triggered. You haven't, you haven't had to learn about punamis yet. I'm learning so much from Shark Tank. So any really liquidy poos or explosions. You just horrified Davey. He's the yes, only he's shark up here without kids. <laughs> I'm out of having kids. Yes. So I'm still in the deal. <laughs> Do you know that whether you use disposables or reusables, you're supposed to put the poo in the toilet? No, you're not. Read the back of your packets. Wait, the baby's poop? Yes. You just throw it in the garbage. No, you're supposed to put it in the toilet. Why? It's natural. Do you poo in the garbage? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Well... <laughs> I was like, OK, you win. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm going to get kicked out of Australia. <laughs> Amy's pitch is proving to have some insightful revelations. Davy Fogarty, the only shark without children, wants to explore the patents Amy has on her reusable nappies. Can you explain what protection you have? We have IP design protection on the amount of snaps and also what it looks like on the inside. 
you know, the uniqueness of the snaps on the front mean that you can actually go down to, you know, your two and a half kilo baby by making the front even shorter. So we're trying to get as much wear out of this as we can. We don't want customers to have to buy three different sets of nappies to get their baby from newborn to toilet training. Can you go through the past three years of sales, revenue, profit, and also what you're forecasting for this year? So in 2021, we did $125,000 in revenue, and out of that, we netted $50,000. Wow, done. Yes. In and your you know, first year. Yes, and do you know why? Why? I didn't have any money. Yes, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love you. I had $200 and all I could do was gain capital and put it back in. Yes! yes. That's finally! That's all Good I job. could do. That's how it's done. Bravo, Amy, bravo! You speak sharp. <laughs> What happened in the second year? What happened year two? Okay, year two, I did three hundred and five thousand yeah. dollars, oh and yeah. I netted one hundred and ten thousand wow. dollars. This year, I expect that we will do five hundred and fifty thousand dollars this year. You go, Amy. Seventy-nine percent of our revenue is generated by organic traffic. Talk to us about paid. Have you tried paid advertising? I have paid. So in ten months, I've invested thirty thousand dollars into paid advertisement. Our return on investment is about 11. Wow. But still, our main customers that visit us are organic, particularly from TikTok. Wow, really? what kind of content are you making on TikTok? A lot of content that resonates with my audience. I am my ideal customer. <laughs> <laughs> so Amy, you spent 30K on ads yes. and you're getting a 11 return on ad spend. Mm -hmm. I have one simple question. Yep. Why did you not spend more money? I'm scared. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Amy, how, how many would the average family buy? 24. 24, 24 of these. 24. How much do they cost? What do they cost? So one of these costs $36.99. To buy. To buy, yep. That's reasonable. Yep. I get these landed for $16.65. We have a gross profit margin of 55% on these. Yeah, your margin's not great. No, it's not, but we have a lot of eco-complementary accessories that do generate a lot of additional revenue. So have you been selling out? Yeah, particular prints. How many SKUs do you have? In total, 95. Whoa. Yeah, so, so I've got about 10 different do patterns. Do you think the SKUs are limiting a constraint of growth, or do you think... Potentially, yeah. You just love textiles a when lot? It comes, when it comes to cloth nappies, <laughs> right, someone's going to buy 24 of these. The average person wants 24 different types. Is that true? Probably. Probably true. Yeah, you don't want the same. And that was the biggest feedback that we got as we were growing was, Amy, you only have 15 different colours. Amy, I love you so much. Your energy is infectious. <laughs> You're incredible. But for me, I can't see a path where I add value. For that reason, I'm out. Thank you. And Amy, I love that you are the moddy body of nappies. I see that you are definitely solving a problem. However, I don't know that I am the best shark for you to support it. Fortunately, for this investment, I'm out. Thank you. Amy. I am kind of thinking, am I in or am I out? The real opportunity for you is going to be in simplifying the number of SKUs that you've got. And I think that there would be some sharks that will be able to help you do that better than I would be able to help you do that. And so for that reason, I'll have to be out. Oh! oh I was hoping you were going to I thought you were coming to I thought you were going to have kissed it. Mimi, you are running into a trap. With these skews. And that's where I can help you. But I am gonna need a mum to come in with me, specifically Jane, because she has this audience with her Facebook group. So if Jane will come in with me, we'll do a hundred thousand dollars, but I'd need 35% of the business. Oh you're stealing her baby. I am keen to get in on that offer, and I think it's a really fair offer. What do you think? 
I'm going to counter. Would you be willing to do $100,000 for 30% and a $50,000 line of credit for me to be able to work through inventory and replenish that as I can? So you're reducing the percent by 5% and you're adding a $50,000 line of credit as well. That's shocking. Wow. That's shocking. I need that to be able to scale. And I don't want our profits to be limited by the fact that I don't have capital. Our profits. <laughs> yeah, our profits. It is our profits, right? You are a shark lady. So the answer is no to the line of credit, but I will come down to 30%. Okay. $100,000. Okay. 15% each. $100,000. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing! I love what you're doing. I love Thank the course. You. It's amazing. An investment win for Amy. And a win for the environment, too. Well done, Amy. Well done, Amy. And Davey, you can babysit. Yeah, awesome. You can experience the first punami. <laughs> <laughs> the one shark that doesn't have children, the one that I thought was least likely to invest, put his hand up and said, I'm willing to invest. But now I've walked out with two amazing sharks which are going to help me bring my brand and my products to the next level.